Well, it's very um, generous of you to say that it's my creation. It's Robin Lee's creation. Robin Lee created Solène Marchand in her amazing book, The Idea of You. And then Jennifer Westfelt adapted Solène uh, into a version of what uh, is in the film. And I definitely contributed to it, but Michael Showalter also really shaped it. Amy Williams, our production designer, um, Jackie DiMatteo, uh, uh, our costume designer, Jim Frona, our, our cinematographer. Everybody kind of came together on a team to try to tell the story of this woman who has this really unexpected thing happen to her. And, um, you know, there's so many fun, poppy elements to the movie, but really deep down it is a love story and it is about a woman healing from this terrible trauma that she went through that her ex-husband put her through when he, he broke her heart. And the story is in a way kind of about her finding her heart in a new way with this wonderful person that comes into her life called Hayes Campbell. I mean, dare I say we didn't really work at it so much that it kind of um, came quite organically to us and we just we just built a friendship really over, um, you know, pre-production and we were texting each other a lot and we were really just getting to know each other as people. And then, you know, when, when you finally act in those sort of intimate moments, if you feel a closeness to someone, um, it, it just, you can do it with, with ease. And I think, you know, we, we tell a really, amazing story in those intimate moments. We tell one of, of female pleasure, which is often relegated in, in, in films like this. And so um, I think we were just definitely on, uh, we had a, the same North Star yeah. um, and, and we just were friends. So it kind of made it very easy, really. I think so. Oh, I was amazed. It was so good. So, you know, we you have to understand, we were not at Coachella. We were in a field, <laughs> just a kind of like sort of outside Atlanta, Georgia. And it was mind blowing. They built an entire stage mm. with a complete lighting rig um, and, and uh, you know, scaffolding and, and everything. And there were sets. And then the guys who I've been hearing, you know, from Nick, who I have, I have to say, it's it's really a lot to be filming a movie while rehearsing dance at the same time. So whenever Nick wasn't kind of on camera doing all of the things that you have to do as an actor, he was transforming into this, you know, the lead singer of this internationally beloved boy band. And so I've been hearing about it, and then to actually see it in action, I was just really happy for everybody. And I also like, you know, cynically was like, it works. <laughs> the movie's gonna work, this is so much fun. And then sorry, just one last thing because I'm talking too much. Um, and then to watch the background artists who, let's be honest, were paid to be there. Uh, to watch them on the first night go from, you know, just background artists who were there because they'd been hired to the third night they knew every word, they had favorites in the band, they were completely invested. They came to like, and, and the crew started dressing up like moonheads. And to see all of that was really, really special because nobody has to do that. Mm. Everybody was just having a great time and wanted to lean into it. So yeah. it was just really fun. It was um, those nights, especially. I mean, I, we, I'd really bonded with the with the boys. Uh, you know, throughout the whole experience, we were all in the same hotel together. We'd hang out every day and, um, you know, just desperately trying to get as much dance training under my belt as, as possible. There never seems to be enough time when you need to, like, learn a skill like this. And, and so it was very daunting. But then, you know, you, you come out on the stage and there's kind of very little acting required because it's all there around you. And um, uh, just sort of playing into the chemistry that kind of already existed between between the lads, but you know, running down the the, the catwalk um, and jumping into the, the crowd and getting your shirt pulled out and everything. I mean, it's 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 very very surreal, and you kind of have to. Um, uh, I mean, you do feel like you're playing to a crowd of about eighty thousand, but we're we're very indebted to the to the supporting artists who showed up. You know. At, it was 3 a.m. in the morning um, in a, on a cold night in Atlanta for three days. So, um, yeah, and, and as Annie said, you know, with our crew, they never were just like clocking in to come to work. I mean, no. they were so, they were equally invested in, in, in the band and our story.
everyone fell so deep in love in this movie. Like when we went to take the crew photo, at the end of it, like I have a video of it where I just kind of pressed record and did a circle and the actual chemistry that was between all of us, like not like Nick and I got to like, you know, represent it, but mm. everyone was so in love on this movie. Everybody was so kind. It just kind of felt like this one of those really special experiences that you you're just going to remember forever. I mean, so, so special that, um, you know, we had our, our uh, screening at South by Southwest uh, a month ago, whatever it is now, so many of the crew from Atlanta drove over to, to Texas to support us. And they I all think got an Airbnb th together. That's not, that doesn't and always our, happen. And our cinematographer, pe for people who couldn't get an Airbnb, yeah. he got them one. It's incredible. Like, so that way we all, like, like the after party was kind of like the dress up rap party. Yeah. 